Whoa! <laughs> Did you see how fast that was? Oh my gosh. 4090. A ridiculously overpowered power supply. 1200 watts. Unnecessary, but is anything really necessary? Come on. Here we've got the piece that's the key for all this. This is Minus Forum's DEG1, and it's a PCI Express Oculink 4i external GPU thingy. Basically, the power supply and the video card are gonna sit on top of this, and it's all gonna connect to this via Oculink. This is Minis Forum's UH125 PC. And there it is, there's the Oculink connection. More and more little machines are having that connection because Thunderbolt to external GPUs has a limit of 40 gigabytes per second. This Oculink technology allows you to go up to 63. And I'm gonna see if I can run local LLMs on that 4090 and how fast it's gonna be. Of course, I've made videos about running local LLMs on Macs and on other mini PCs but never on a full-blown desktop 4090. So this is gonna be interesting. This is what comes with the Minis Forum dock. The PCIe card slot is here, power goes here, and the Oculin cable. Let's move that aside. Next piece. Ah, I bought this a Micro Center, and the guy that sold it to me was like, why are you getting a white one? Apparently, something special about having a white video card that I'm not aware of. Okay, this thing is bigger than I imagined. I need my favorite knife. That knife is so good. I'll link to it down below. I've been using this for a while and best knife ever. Wow. It's just so satisfying to rip this off. I can see if I had like a clear desktop with all white components inside. Somebody might care about that. Not me, I don't care. Wow, this is a monster beast. Holy cow. <laughs> I can just imagine going to a Starbucks and setting this mini PC up like I recently did with my other little mini PC. You'll definitely get looks. Finally, a little bit less glamorous, but for the real tech nerd heads, this is supposed to be a really good power supply. Let me know in the comments if you agree. Seasonic Vertex GX 1200 watts. Zip ties, power cable. Oh my gosh, what is all this? A bag of cables. I got the 1200 watt supply because, well, in the future I might need it. It's overkill for this project because uh, the 4090 doesn't need typically more than what, 600 watts or so. I wanted to double up because, well, what if I build a desktop in the future? And what if I wanna have, I don't know, two 4090s in there? There's the power supply. Are there instructions? I guess the power supply sits here, screwed in. Let's seat this in here. Oh, yeah. And now, since this card won't stay up by itself, now we need that bracket. Yeah, my mini computer suddenly became not so mini. Don't lift this up. I mean, you could lift it up, you just need to hold all the parts together because there aren't any screws attaching it on this side or on this side of the power supply. That's not why we're here anyway. This looks like it goes here, right? There's no instructions that came with this dock. Ah, 12 VHPWR, 12 volts horsepower. That's what that means. That piece looks exactly like this piece. So probably need a cable like this to connect from the video card to the power supply. This is gonna be big and messy because look how long this cable is. Where am I supposed to do this? So this one looks like it goes here and that fits into the hole. What about these? Where do these go? Is this the one labeled motherboard? Hey, that fits. Must be it. What about this one? That fits too. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna hope and pray that the the reason they fit is because that's where they belong. Uh, let's let's hope. <laughs> so that's supposed to power the PCIe slot, and maybe this one is supposed to go directly to the video card directly from the power supply. That plugs right in there, and this one plugs into the power supply. Is this thing done? Is this gonna work? Am I crazy? Am I supposed to use this? I don't know. I'm gonna check the documentation just real quick. Found the docs on the Minis Forum website. Oculink cannot be hot swapped or forcefully powered off. Otherwise it may damage the device. Installation instructions, I've already figured all this out. Okay, this is just to confirm that I've plugged the 24 pin to the 24 pin and that 
plugged in this cable from the graphics card right to the power supply. This is the 8 pin power cable to connect the graphics card. Okay, feeling good so far. Connect the mini PC power adapter and ATX power cable. Turn on the power supply and start the mini PC. All right, let's plug one side of the Oculink into the dock, the other side into the mini PC. Keyboard, mouse. I think we're ready to go. This is the first time I'm using this machine, so this is the power button I'm guessing. There's also a co-pilot button. You know what I think about that. We're not gonna push that at all, ever. <laughs> here we go, power on, and there they go. Am I gonna get a side benefit of getting some cooling here? Like a personal fan blowing on me? I was expecting a lot more noise from the 4090, to be honest. It's not that loud. Obviously, since this is the first time I've turned this on, this is the window setup screen, I'm gonna go through that. This is taking forever to set up. So in the meantime, that's about 40 degrees right here yeah it's definitely warm and the fans are not spinning right now i guess that's not warm enough <laughs> for it to spin up its fans finally this thing restarted that took a little bit under device manager i already see that under display adapters there's my intel integrated gpu and the nvidia geforce rtx 4090 even though i didn't install the gigabyte drivers yet which i'm gonna do now gigabyte consumer downloads aero oc 24g driver Driver installed. Let's check out the task manager. And there it is, RTX 4090. It even tells me that it's at 39 degrees Celsius. Pretty close to what I measured. 24 gigs of VRAM. It is gonna limit us quite a bit on what kind of uh, LLMs we can run in that size. So you're gonna need to run highly quantized models if they're gonna be large, um, anything probably bigger than 13 billion parameters. Even the 13 billion one, you're gonna need to quantize. If you wanna run unquantized, probably 7 billion. But it should be fast and that's my hope. There's a couple of things we need to install install first and I'm gonna start with Python. Now, I want to get Python installed globally here but uh, I do prefer using Conda environments. I'm gonna set that up a little bit later and if you don't know what I'm talking about I have an entire video on how to set up a development environment including Conda and Python environments. I'll link to that video down below in case you're curious. But for now I'm just gonna do the global install of Python. Now I want to get the CUDA toolkit. This provides a development environment for creating high performance GPU accelerated applications. Basically it's for the developer side of things. Let's download that. Three gigabytes. Boom. All right, let's install this thing. A few inches later. It's about that time to get Olama installed. We're gonna start with Olama. There's other tools out there, like LM Studio is a pretty popular one, but Olama is really simple and quick, and I just clicked the install button. I have a full tutorial on how to set up Olama on a Mac and how to use the web UI with it, as well as an addition that allows you to generate images right inside the web UI. It's pretty cool. I'll link to those videos down below. As Soon as that's done, Olama starts up by itself. If I go to terminal and I say Olama, it's running. <laughs> there is a service, Olama, it's running on my computer and I can just say Olama run Llama 3.1. I don't have Llama 3.1 model here, so it's going to download it right now, the first time you use it. This one is not that big, 4.7 gigabytes, and it's gonna be like a proof of concept to see how quickly this thing is going to work and whether Olama will utilize our new RTX 4090 or not. Okay, success. It's, uh, I guess, starting up Olama, and we can check the task manager to see what's going on here. Let's say hi first. Hi. Whoa. <laughs> it's doing, did you see how fast that was? Oh my gosh. Okay. Write a 1000 word story. Okay. I, I'm so excited. I can't type. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh, here's what's happening. This thing is drawing so much power uh, that my UPS is complaining. I should have bought a bigger UPS, I knew this. But did you see how fast that was? This is clearly working, okay? It's not using a lot of memory, which is great. The fans spun up only when it was working. Let me run that again, and we're gonna see what happens here. Write me a 1,000 word story and go. And there it goes, the 1,000 word story, the UPS, is complaining. It does not like that because the power usage on this thing is going up, but this is definitely working. Wow. I didn't even have to do any configuration. Olama automatically found this GPU and everything just works. I can't believe how easy that was. I do need to go to the store and get a bigger UPS now. Probably a 1500 watt one. I didn't think of that. <laughs> I'm gonna do this one more time and this time I'm gonna get the temperature readout and there we go with the power complaints. 
we're at 41 degrees. Of course, I'm just measuring the heat sink temperature, not the internal temperature of the GPU. So a little bit different there. There's a little program that's free. It's called CUDA Z and it lets me look at the performance. And here is the speed that we're getting. So this proves that this is faster than an eGPU solution through Thunderbolt because we're getting about 6,100 megabits per second, which is, you know, what we expected. What's going on with this GPU and these spikes? Anyway, uh, anybody know what's going on with that? Let me know if you know, and I'm sure other people would appreciate it. But now I'm gonna try to really get it angry at me. Um, I'm gonna run a 70B model, 70 billion parameter Llama 3.1 model, and I just basically downloaded it, but I did not query it yet. So the model is here, it's over 40 gigabytes, and if I run this, what's gonna happen? Is the system gonna crash? Because it's more than 24 gigabytes that are in VRAM that are available on this box. Let's see. And no, I did not get a new UPS yet, so it's gonna beep. Let's just do high, okay? Come on, can you answer me? I just said hi, that's all I said. Let's take a look at this memory graph. Oh, look at that, it's going up. This is the uh, the system memory, not the dedicated memory. Dedicated GPU memory is up by 20 gigabytes right now. And there's our little GPU spike. We still don't have an answer for hi. <gasps> It's doing it. Oh, it's running on the CPU. Is that what's going on? It's really slow, first of all. And second of all, our CPU is has spiked during the time that it was answering me and the memory went up. So did it just completely ignore the GPU? All right, let's do this. I wanna make sure that we still have the ability to run on the GPU, that we didn't mess anything up. So I'm gonna run Llama 3.1 again. Hi. Boom, instant. Tell me a story. Boom. There's a story. It's really fast. No action on the CPU. Action on the GPU. Fans are spinning up. UPS is whining at me. We know what's happening. My guess here is that Olama is smart enough to direct my prompt to where it can possibly run. So if it detects that the 70 billion parameter model can't fit in the GPU VRAM, it's sending it to the CPU. And if I open up another window here, and I'm gonna say Olama PS. Aha, okay. Tell me a story. It's telling me a story. Llama PS is not giving me any other information. It's not really telling me what it's running on. In fact, utilization of the GPU is 0% right now. It's not going that slow. <laughs> and, it's, and it's actually running, which is surprising to me. CPU is maxed out. So we're not running on the GPU here. All right, let's try stable diffusion here. Ugh. I said one pig wearing a tie, not two. Schwarzenegger wearing a tie. Looking old, man, looking old, but still pretty buff. <laughs> this is actually crazy fast. Look, click, real time, boom, done. Click, real time, done. That is insane. Clearly we have an advantage here when it comes to speed for certain model sizes, like small ones, right? 3 billion parameters are gonna work well, 7 billion, maybe even 13. Haven't tried that one yet, but I'm gonna try it. When you get to larger models than that, you're not gonna be able to take full advantage of running them on this monster graphics card, giving you full speed because, well, there's not enough memory in there. Olama is smart enough to realize that and direct your queries to the CPU instead of the GPU, which I'm pretty amazed about. Now, there's definitely more benchmarks that can be done here and more to dig in. This is more of a setup video so I can show you the hardware that I'm going to be working with here. And I'm actually going to try and use this on my own projects. I'll let you know how it goes. I still have some more tests to do how AI models are going to do on Snapdragon machines, how AI models are going to do on mini PCs, GPU versus CPU. I recently did a 96 gigabyte upgrade for this thing. So you can watch that video right over here. Stay tuned for the other videos and I'll see you in the next one.